and in today's video what I'm going to be showing is four essential Mac apps. Uh, these apps are all free and I personally believe that you really really need to use them. Um, they're really helpful in terms of just organizing your desktop, organizing your space, finding things, and just being helpful in general. So the first app I'm going to show you is just a simple timer. Uh, it's called Horo. So as you can see it's right here. And if I just click on it, I can set a range of different timers. So I can set a 30 minute timer, a one hour timer. I'm really, what it, like I said, it's just a simple timer, but instead of having to go into Google or search up uh, like some kind of timer, instead of having to just open up anything else, I can just scroll up, set my timer, and just let it go. And basically that's it, it's just a simple timer. Uh, the next app that I'm gonna show off is something that's a little bit more on the complex side but not really it's kind of an all-in-one calculator and it's called Numi so what Numi does is it has a range of functionality but what I use it normally is just for time conversions or currency conversions so instead of ha again having to google it each time I want to I can just pop up Numi and see okay what's 10 US dollars to NZD and as you can see it's just done the conversion right away and I'll just do another uh, thing. What do I want? Uh, maybe, let's see, 10 plus 10. It's done. 20. New York time. It's 5.56. Uh, again, there's a whole bunch of syntax in the docs, which I believe... So yeah, these are some of my recent searches. You can even have Bitcoin conversion. Um, but just a whole range of functionality that's built into Numi. So it's kind of like an all-in-one, really. And I personally love using it. Um, and I would, again, recommend it to everyone. Uh, okay. The next app is one called Rectangle. So you, this might not make much sense right now, but we'll come back to that. So let's say I want to open up Get Kraken and say Spotify. Uh, normally if I wanted to do like a picture in picture or a side by side it's re normally really tough you have to like manually sort and try and drag this into place but with rectangle what it does is it basically gives it windows functionality and that we can snap it to however we want so say I want to snap get crack into the side I just drag it over to there and I want to snap uh, Spotify to the side I just drag it over if I need to Likewise with this, I can resize it here. Or if I wanted to, I could drag this down here into the middle. If I want to pop, yep, I can drag it into the middle, resize it either way. Um, there's just a whole bunch of orientations that rectangle allows for. And you can see them right here. So there's left half, right half, top half, bottom half. And there's a whole bunch of keyboard shortcuts. Uh, me personally, I just normally just drag and drop it where I want it because it's easy enough. But again, if you wanted to learn the shortcuts, they're all there for you and you can customize them. But uh, yeah, that's the next uh, application that I would want, I'd recommend you to use. Uh, my final recommendation is something probably most people already have, and that's Alfred. So normally, if you want to search something up, there's a couple ways to do it. You can do it through Finder. Or use a spotlight search. Ooh, um, the thing about spotlight search is that it's not that comprehensive. Um, it's kind of a pain to look for files or specific things. Um, but with Alfred, so if I just do option space, I can search up a lot more things and it's much more comprehensive than spotlight search. It even allows me to just straight Google things. So every name, so. Um, uh, who is the president? So I can search through either Amazon if I was going to look for something on Amazon through Wikipedia or even just Google and then search it up Who is the president? And it comes up the president of the United States is and yeah, um, basically just Alfred is a Really just simple Not really simple just essential search tool that Mac just does not have and and makes up for what uh, um, Spotlight Search doesn't provide. 
and yeah basically those are the four uh apps that i would recommend for you so if we just go through here i will have them linked in the description but if you just want to see them their websites uh so matthewpalmer.net so he created horo uh numi and again it has a little demo there with a lot more of the functionality than i covered um rectangle and alfred and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this quick video um let me know if you have any other free apps that you would recommend and yeah please like and subscribe and i'll see you next time